Hi all. Um, I'm showing you a couple of pictures here to start off with. I'm going to tell you more about my project here. This is a picture of mom and dad. This is, I think, from 1998. We were at Oktoberfest in Munich. with Those really big beer giants. That's one picture. Um, another picture I have here oops, is of... Um, you see my be cancer. That's kind of a challenge. Whoops. There we go. There we go. This is a picture taken. They were probably in their late 50s. Kind of amazing. Um, I'm older than they are right now. Than, than they were then. Um, I think it was a, probably a formal occasion that they were going to. But let me tell you what I'm doing. Um, I have a whole slew of um of a, a whole a whole slew of voicemail messages from mom from my mom and about three from my dad. Um uh, my dad passed away in October two thousand five and that's all that I have of his voice. No um no we I mean no videos. From my mom I have some videos. I have a, several voicemail messages I've hung on to and but I don't have, um, if, if, you know, but she's had Alzheimer's for many years. I'm filming this in September 2021, and she's really lost her ability to talk. And I want to cherish that and hold on to this, and not just in voicemail, but something more permanent, hence this video. So I'm going to go through, you may hear some voicemail message from, but to show you some pictures. Hi, hon. It's Mom, and uh, it's uh, Saturday, lovely day, beautiful day. I uh, just got back, at, uh, well, I actually went uh, to a 9 o'clock haircut appointment with Lisa. My husband was feeling very, and that's a long, very, very sick. Uh, it has been about a little over five weeks since I'd had it at the last time. So it needed it, and um, I got a ride down with this delightful gal named Jody. I don't know her last name, but anyway, she's a sweetheart. And, um, you know, I've had Marco, but now I have Jody, and it was, I mean, I don't know if we got each one of them, but both were wonderful. But Jody is a, this is a charmer. She's still a sweetheart. So she, you know, we, we were there for almost, you know, half an hour, the usual thing. But I mean, on a Saturday morning, and they're very busy on Saturday, but I got this pretty early appointment, and Lisa said, you know, I have to scream around to get there. And um, so I was on time, and she took me right away, and I was out there in the fly. Just to let you know, and I'm uh, sort of going to hang around here, take a walk at some point, but that's not true. And I'm going to get just a little bit warmer. It's now about, I don't know, 11-ish. No, it's actually almost 12 o'clock. So um, anyway, all is well, and um, it's just, you know, fooling around, you know, but I get a few things in the apartment before I got out of here. Just to let you know that all is well at Lisa's <laughs> and I feel like a, a new person. Okay, you take care. Hope you have a real good weekend. From telephone number 303 received on Wednesday, August 29th at 9.44 p.m. Hi, honey bunch. It's mom. It's quarter of ten, and I hope I didn't. I don't think I woke you, awakened you. But anyway, I just wanted to say hi and uh, hope things are going well with you. And uh, you know, miss uh, talking to you. But I realize that uh, you're busy, and I've been spending a heck of a lot of time uh, staying in my apartment because. Uh, hi, Paula. This is Mom, honey, and uh, I got your message about uh, about um, yeah about me to today tonight. And uh, sorry that I missed you. I can't understand what happened, but somehow or other, I just we just completely missed each other. But um, I just was so thrilled with getting your delightful and sweet note um, about about me. Um, you're just quite a gal, and you always have been, and you always will be. 
and you'll always be special, extra special. And uh, you really are. So don't ever let yourself think that you're le a lesser person because you're way up there in my books and in my friends' books as well. Um, sorry that I just couldn't get, get in, be in touch with you at, during the day. Uh, it's just one of those things, you know. But anyway, um, I just love you, love you to pieces, and um, and just tickled to death with your letter. Uh, it's just so sweet, so kind, so generous, and uh, I just will never. I, I just keep it for forever. Um, I just want to let you know how much I think of you. Just all, all my love. Okay. All my love. You take care, and let me know, you know, when you're doing what. Keep in touch. Okay, sweetie. Bye bye. Hi, honey. Uh, it's mom, and uh, I'm going down. at just about five o'clock. Had a wonderful time with Garden Club, and I'll tell you about it sometime. But uh, anyway, I just I'm glad that you're out off uh, tomorrow, and I, I think we're off tomorrow. Maybe that's your birthday. And um, just hope that all goes very well, and and I will, you know, I didn't I got a birthday card off to you. Yes. So anyway, that's my fault, but I'll stop it off tomorrow morning, okay? Bye-bye, sweetheart. Take care. I'm not cool. Uh, Paula, I uh, just wanted to thank you again. Uh, I certainly enjoyed last night, but it's going to be on uh, Sunday evening now. But it was uh, really, yeah, wonderful dinner that you knocked yourself out to do. It was really, really good. And uh, I just want to thank you, and I certainly enjoyed you know, rubbing and scratching Avery's ears and all his back and the stomach and everything else is just wonderful. Just looks just as good as ever. So you're doing all these things very well and very right. <laughs> so anyway, um, the movie that we're supposed to have tonight, apparently, the, whatever the movie was, uh, sounded kind of interesting, but uh, they're not doing it because apparently something went wrong with the disc or something uh, before he even put it on. It just wasn't, something was wrong. So I've, I've been up in the room really most of the day because it was raining, and now it's raining some more, which is just, a, you know, it's just wonderful to see some greeting of the yard, of the, of the lawn. So uh, I'll, we'll be talking soon, and I just want to say that I really enjoyed uh, seeing Dana and, uh, and being with you, and, uh, and of course, Avery, okay? We were lucky that it wasn't raining when we were, uh, you know, walking around. Take care, sweetie, uh, and much love, okay? Bye-bye. Okay, Paula, I just wanted to tell you that I felt so sorry and so worried about you yesterday morning when I was, you know, terribly cloudy and snowing and blowing and that you had to go to bed with your first impact of work. That was not fun, honey. Take care. Bye-bye. Hi, Paula. This is Dan calling. Uh, I'm home now. I'm just feeling a little weak and tired. But uh, we're, we're going ahead with the uh, communications with Hopkins Hospital. I don't know much more if it's right now. Won't know until Monday or Tuesday. But, uh, oh, and I got the uh, computer fixed. I was able to fix that. And I was able to uh, fax the communication that mom had some difficulty sending off to uh, the, the, uh, to Hopkins this morning. Uh, in any case, I was hoping that sometime during the weekend, uh, the boys can uh, throw me a coming home party. That is uh, Avery and Max, that both of them could come over here for a little while. Talk to our and we'll have to coordinate, you know, to coordinate this a bit because uh, we, uh, I have to, for a half hour each day, I have to take out uh, to uh, have the nurse administry administer medicine to me. But in any case, give us a call. See you now. Bye. Hi, honey. I just thought I would give you a quick call. I'm almost 9.30. And 
tell you that uh, AB was very, very good and uh, just, you know, good for a nice block, but it was a little bit cooler, there was breeze. And, uh, you know, he was thirsty after I got, took, him, uh, took him out. He was really thirsty, even before I took him out. And then when he came back, and we were out for about 25 minutes, walked all the way down to the school and walked up part of that walkway, so we didn't go across the park because I, uh, I, I was running late. So, but, you know, anyway, I stayed with them, we talked, and we played, and fooled around, and I watched her TV a little bit on Channel 6 for, uh, all together for an hour, including before, during, and after. So, just to let you know that everything was fine in this kind of everything, but you turn on the light of the window a little bit. Okay, and uh, I'll talk to you sometime over the weekend. Okay, honey? Bye-bye. Paula, oh, hi, sweetie. I have to tell you, I think I already mentioned it once, the yes, yes, that you gave Dan and me, you know, of that script of memories is beyond belief. I mean, we are so thrilled and so touched by it. He went twice before, and bed last night. He told me he went through it twice, he told me twice. And I left the ring once the first time, and then I read it. And then I read a couple of stories from, uh, uh, you know, from the book that you also gave me about basically a Mother's Day book, uh, about three points there. But anyway, it was just unbelievable. And it's uh, it's just better than getting anything I can think of to my life. It's not as easy things when you're still alive and so that you're you know. uh, Anyway. Just wonder if I haven't loaned you a book, you know, giving you, give you a read because I'm looking all over for it. I know I promised you to give it to Anne. Middle sex. Just wonder if you, you know, I just looked around the house, but I'm probably not, I can't see very well anyway. So, um, you know, maybe if you come across it, give me a call or say something. And I hope you had a, as soon as we did, one more surprise. We do have a movie. A little bit of movies. We didn't realize we could do this on our camera, but we did. Of me, a little bit with Avery. Uh, it was just, well, you'll see. You'll come over and we'll turn around and we'll show you. Uh, from the, you know, a couple of the pictures that I've had to do with two different movies, and we've done it since your accident. Okay, honey, see you whenever you want to get, you want to come over and we'll turn around here for a while. That's fine, whatever. Okay, bye bye. Hi, Paula. This is Dad calling. We're in Bennington, Vermont, and uh, obviously the best way to reach us is to uh, call our uh, cell phone. We just want to uh, leave a message or we'll have it on. Uh, there are some dead zones here in uh, New England, as you apparently know, so uh, hopefully we can talk to you or get a, get a message from you. Uh, everything is going well, and we uh, expect we finish the elder hostel, and we expect to come home Tuesday night. See you now. Bye bye. Hi, Paula. This is Dad calling. I'm just calling to tell you I uh, uh, burned the CD, and it's ready for you to pick up at any time. The, the CD with uh, Avery playing. See you now. Bye. Main menu. To get your messages, press 1. To send a message, press